Now, there was a man at Caesarea named Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian cohort, a devout man and one who feared God with all his household and gave many alms to the Jewish people and prayed to God continually. About the ninth hour of the day, he clearly saw in a vision an angel of God who had just come in and said to him, Cornelius. And, fixing his gaze on him and being much alarmed, he said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and alms have ascended as a memorial before God. Now dispatch some men to Joppa and send for a man named Simon, who is also called Peter. He is staying with a tanner named Simon, whose house is by the sea. When the angel who was speaking to him had left, he summoned two of his servants and a devout soldier of those who were his personal attendants, and, after he had explained everything to them, he sent them to Joppa. Think about this. How exciting these times are! For hundreds of years God concentrated on his chosen people, the Jews. Now something amazing is happening. God is turning his attention to the Gentiles. Gentiles are all those people in the world who are not Jews. God promised this time would come when he spoke to Abraham hundreds of years ago. Now the time is here, and God will show his mercy and love to the Gentiles. The good news is beginning to travel beyond Jerusalem and Israel to the world. On the next day, as they were on their way and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop about the sixth hour to pray. But he became hungry and was desiring to eat. But while they were making preparations, he fell into a trance, and he saw the sky opened up and an object like a great sheet coming down, lowered by four corners to the ground. And there were in it all kinds of four-footed animals and crawling creatures of the earth and birds of the air. A voice came to him, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything unholy and unclean. Again a voice came to him a second time, What God has cleansed no longer consider unholy. This happened three times, and immediately the object was taken up into the sky. Now while Peter was greatly perplexed in mind as to what the vision which he had seen might be, Behold, the men who had been sent by Cornelius, having asked directions for Simon's house, appeared at the gate, and calling out, they were asking whether Simon, who was also called Peter, was staying there. While Peter was reflecting on the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you, but get up, go downstairs, and accompany them without misgivings, for I have sent them myself." Think about this. As a good Jew, Peter had been taught, since he was a little boy, that he could eat what God considered clean. But he could not eat what God considered unclean. It was considered a sin against God to eat anything unclean. The Jewish people also looked at Gentiles as unclean in the same way as food. Remember, a Gentile is anyone who is not a Jew. A good, clean Jew never associated with an unclean Gentile. Now things are changing, and God wants Peter to understand that the Lord Jesus can make the Gentiles clean. The good news is that God makes us clean. Peter is in Joppa by the sea. Now God will direct him on a mission trip to a place he would never have gone without a strong push from God. While Peter was reflecting on the vision, the Spirit said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you. 
but get up, go downstairs, and accompany them without misgivings, for I have sent them myself. Peter went down to the men and said, Behold, I am the one you are looking for. What is the reason for which you have come? They said, Cornelius, a centurion, a righteous and God-fearing man, well spoken of by the entire nation of the Jews, was divinely directed by a holy angel to send for you, to come to his house, and hear a message from you. So he invited them in and gave them lodging. And on the next day he got up and went away with them, and some of the brethren from Joppa accompanied him. Think about this. It took some work, but God convinced Peter to go and visit people that he really did not want to visit. Are there some people that God would like you to help, but you really don't feel like it? Jesus said, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Peter and some companions decided to do as God asked and go pay a visit to Cornelius. On the following day he entered Caesarea. Now Cornelius was waiting for them and had called together his relatives and close friends. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter raised him up, saying, Stand up, I too am just a man. As he talked with him, he entered and found many people assembled. And he said to them, You yourselves know how unlawful it is for a man who is a Jew to associate with a foreigner or to visit him. And yet God has shown me that I should not call any man unholy or unclean. That is why I came without even raising an objection when I was sent for. So I ask, for what reason you have sent for me? Cornelius said, Four days ago, to this hour, I was praying in my house during the ninth hour, and behold, a man stood before me in shining garments, and he said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your alms have been remembered before God. Therefore send to Joppa and invite Simon, who is also called Peter, to come to you. He is staying at the house of Simon the Tanner by the sea. So I sent for you immediately, and you have been kind enough to come. Now then, we are all here, present before God, to hear all that you have been commanded by the Lord. Think about this. Cornelius is a very devout man who feared God. When we say he feared God, we mean that he respected or honored the God of the Jewish people. Now Cornelius knew that God was planning to reveal something very special to him. So what does Cornelius do while his men are gone getting Peter? Cornelius collects his relatives and close friends together to share the good news that Peter will be bringing. Like Cornelius, we should honor and respect God by sharing the good news with our friends and relatives. doing some very strange things for a Jew because God asked him to. Now, amazing things are going to happen because Peter did God's will. Opening his mouth, Peter said, I most certainly understand now that God is not one to show partiality. But in every nation, the man who fears him and does what is right is welcome to him. The word which he sent to the sons of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know the thing which took place throughout all Judea, starting from Galilee after the baptism which John proclaimed. You know of Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all the things he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, they also put him to death by hanging him on a cross. God 
raised him up on the third day, and granted that he become visible, not to all the people, but to witnesses who were chosen beforehand by God, that is, to us who ate and drank with him after he arose from the dead. And he ordered us to preach to the people, and solemnly to testify that this is the one who has been appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. Of him all the prophets bear witness that through his name everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who were listening to the message. All the circumcised believers who came with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they were hearing them speaking with tongues and exalting God. Then Peter answered, Surely no one can refuse the water for these to be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit, just as we did, can he? And he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Think about this. Now the Gentiles also have been filled with the Holy Spirit. What an awesome gift this is from God. Celebrate each day by giving Jesus more and more control of your life so that you may experience more and more of God in you. Celebrate the good news that God wants to live in you.